many historical markers have caught my eye. In Knox County on US 25, this marker at Barberville tells us that the first cabin built by a white man in Kentucky stood not far from this spot. It was erected in 1750 by Dr. Thomas Walker's party while exploring in the interest of the Loyal Land Company. I searched for more information and found a marker north of Williamsburg. The Loyal Land Company employed Dr. Thomas Walker to lead a party of five Virginians through the Cumberland Gap. Their journey led them to build the first cabin, then move on to explore the Rockcastle River, Young's Creek, up the Cumberland River and Watts Creek to Blake's Fork. They made camp there on April 25th before returning to the cabin and back to Virginia. The next nugget of information came from Bell County, just before the turn off to Pine Mountain State Park. On April 17th, near here where the creek enters the river, Dr. Walker first viewed the river he named for the Duke of the Cumberland. This area became known as the Narrows and became a significant gateway for travelers on the Wilderness Road. Heading home from here, I saw the sign for the Dr. Walker State Historical Site and had to stop. A reproduction of the first cabin has been constructed and recently renovated. The historical information and a map gave me a clearer picture of the travels of the Walker Party and its members. This party was the first to document their travels through the wilderness. The cabin and seeds planted here gave them corn rights, which helped establish the land company's claim to the region. The party didn't stay and moved north and east to return to Virginia. Their route took them near Salyersville and Paintsville, as well as a fork of the Big Sandy River. I'll look for more about this explorer on my next Travels East.